What? The White Helmets win an Oscar? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I mean... The White Helmets are the propaganda arm of some of the rebels. Some say even the sort of jihadist ISIS rebels in, in Syria. And they've been making propaganda, which I haven't really seen it. I haven't paid, you know, because I just know it's BS. And, and they're probably somehow in cahoots with the West, who is f allegedly, I'm going to say, financing, even if it's in a roundabout way through nations in the area. You know, the rebels, the moderate rebels, they say, although it's hard to, you know, it's hard to know that there's any moderate rebels, really, in Syria. And this war has gone on and on. So um, that's the first thing. I mean, you're going to give an Oscar. I didn't even know they were technically, um, you know, movie makers, really. They were, I guess that's what they are. They're, they're fiction. <laughs> Although maybe it was the best documentary, but whatever. It's just crazy. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense at all. Unless it's meant as propaganda and to confuse or something. And it just shows how far out things have gotten and I didn't watch the Oscars at all. The other thing is, the Russians and to a lesser extent the Syrian government themselves keeps telling us that this war is coming to an end, that uh, they're winning that they've captured this area and that area and they have all this area under control but you know that keeps then you keep hearing about more fighting fighting that seems to be either really close to or I think this morning or yesterday even in or around Damascus and it's in it's I mean it just seems more and more like the Russians are falling into the same trap that we have, the Americans have fallen into in the past, in Iraq and other places, and um, and, and that they fell into in Afghanistan in the 80s, and it just, I mean, you can't keep telling us that the we've turned a corner, the war is over with, and then fighting continues even very close to um, Damascus. So I don't know. But if I'm wrong about that, maybe, you know, if anyone, I don't, not many people see these videos, but if anyone wants to tell me I'm wrong, go ahead. What was the third thing? Well, the third thing couldn't have been quite as, oh, it was important. Why did this person, Ben Swan, who was well known as a media person doing things that were on the edge of alternative or even alternative media, basically in the mainstream, he seems to have just publicly disappeared from public view, at least. I don't know anything. I don't want to comment on uh, anything to do with uh, this last story that Ben Swan did, which is Pizzagate, because I just don't know enough to say anything. But it is odd that he would do this story, and then nobody has seen him. And um, as, there should be at least some explanation somewhere but there doesn't seem to be. I don't know. We just keep going on. And it keeps getting weirder and weirder.